Hi, I'm Lam. Welcome back to Keeping Up With The Queen. Today, I am putting onto the test the Dorm Store Daily Mineral Sunscreen versus the Super Blue Unseen Sunscreen. Let's see who is the queen. If you're new here, hi, welcome. On this channel, we talk a lot about makeup, fragrance, skincare, and beauty in general. I hope you join my journey and we can learn together and grow together here. And if you are my subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for your support all this time. Today, we are talking about these two sunscreens. And they are both having SPF of 40. They are both supposed to be smoothing primers and sunscreen at the same time so I thought I put them onto the test each on half of my face wear makeup on top for the whole day and then at the end of the day we will see who holds up better but I have separate videos for both of these sunscreen where I talk more about the ingredients the price the claims and compare them with other sunscreens, other primers. So check out those videos after you finish this video, of course. But today is the ultimate battle between the two smoothing, priming sunscreens. Let's start. First of all, on my left side, your right side, I'm gonna apply the Daily Mineral Sunscreen from Derm Store. And on my right side, I'm gonna apply the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoo. I already have my skincare on, but I don't have any sunscreen yet. I love how this feels on my skin. I can definitely see a smoothing effect. It doesn't feel drying at all. It feels very velvety. It feels like there is a very thin layer of protection on top of my skin. And it's really poor filling so far compared to the other side with nothing on. There is a slight a white-ish tint, very light though, and because I apply quite a bit, it acts almost like a brightening kind of a primer, um, color correcting primer in a way, but the thing that makes me wonder is that if my, if you have darker skin tone than me, I have medium olive skin, if you have darker skin tone than me, I think this will show up a little bit ashy actually. I think it will have a white cast on you. Let's go ahead and apply the Unseen Sunscreen on this side. Similar amount of product. The name of this sunscreen is very accurate. I can't detect it at all. It spreads faster than the other sunscreen. Feels a lot thinner than the Derm Store. It is poor filling, um, but without the slight whiteness. This side is like perfectly undetectable, um, beside the smoothness and the slight mattifying effect. All right, I put a full face of makeup on, and right now I have to say that both sides look very, very similar and very comparable. They both play well with makeup, Everything on top of them went on very, very nicely. So far, so good on both sides as I thought they are the same thing. So I'm going to wear this face for as long as I can today. And at the end of the day, I'm going to come back and show you how they look. And I will tell you which one I think is better or are they the same? We'll see. But now it's 9.30 in the morning. I'll see you soon. It has been six hours. Since I have this whole face on and I'm ready to take it off, let's zoom you in to show you what's good. They look exactly the same, you guys. You can see the amount of shine is the same, which is not really shiny at all for six hours. They don't really settle on my lines, on my forehead. Okay, around my mouth, maybe the unseen sunscreen side look a little bit better compared to this side. This side you can see a little bit breaking apart in my smile line um, on the Derm Store side. But it's very minimal. I would say they are very, very comparable products. So the final conclusion. I like both of these products, you guys. I think they are very comparable in every way besides one thing. On days when I want to apply makeup on top of my sunscreen and I want that smoothing effect, 
I will probably reach for the unseen sunscreen more because it's like it fills in the pores to smooth things out. It's a little bit thinner of a consistency, so it doesn't um, have extra weight in a way. But not that the Derm Soul one has a lot of weight anyway. But the unseen sunscreen one is a little bit lighter and it's undetectable. And I find that on top of the unseen sunscreen, makeup spread out a lot faster, a lot easier, a little bit go a little longer, and it just looks very good for applying makeup on top. On days when I don't want to apply any base makeup on top of it, or at least no foundation, maybe I just want to apply a little concealer under my eyes and call it a day, then I would go with the Derm Store because it provides a tiny bit amount of a brightening effect and an on my skin tone, which helps even things out a little bit more than the unseen sunscreen. Unseen sunscreen is really unseen, undetectable. On the Derm Store side, it's a little bit, it has a very minimal coverage while smoothing things out and make things look a little more put together and mattifying and hiding texture and all that. And throughout the day, they both do the same thing, which is prolong the wear of makeup and it keep you matte longer. That's the final result. I like both of them. I recommend both of these products. They're both very easy to use, very easy to apply. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of these products side by side. Which one do you prefer? Would you like something that works under makeup a little bit better or would you like something that has a little bit more versatility where you can use it with or without makeup? Don't forget to check out the other videos that I have created relating to these two products in the description box below. I will let you go. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future interesting uploads. I will see you in my next one. Have a good day. Until next time, don't flop.